What's going on? Back with another video for the channel. Um, as most of you guys probably are as well, I'm super bored with this quarantine, being stuck inside, but um, trying to make the best of it, doing some indoor riding, as well as just kind of planning out bikes and stuff like that, which is what today's video is about. So lately, I've been watching a lot of BMX videos on YouTube. I used to BMX when I was a kid, and then I got into skateboarding as fixed gears, which I still skateboard a little bit on the side. So bikes have always been something I've been into. And lately, I've been thinking about getting back into it, BMX a little bit, you know, just trying to add some variety to my riding. Unfortunately, being 6'2", riding a 20-inch bike, no matter, you know, even a 21-inch top tube, just really isn't a good fit for me, even though, yes, it is for tricks. But I've come across people who, who ride 26-inch BMX bikes. Going down that path, researching some of that. So today I'm gonna to walk you through like my dream bike and kind of the components that I'm planning on building up. So yeah, let's jump into it. I'll, I'll show you guys my bike specs. Let me know in the comments below if you have any additions or comments as far as what I chose and if you would choose anything differently. I'm gonna show you guys kind of my inspiration and kind of like what I kind of plan to do with it and then show you the bike that I plan on doing it with. All right, so here is sort of like um, my inspiration. I, uh, I've been thinking about it for a while, but I came across this guy's profile and his bike and his setup and his sort of style is kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to show you guys a few of his clips. So obviously like I'm not expecting to be this good off the bat, but it's just, you know, showing you guys sort of the kind of riding style, um, sort of the trick selection that I'm, I want to eventually kind of get up to, um, you know, obviously aspirationally uh, try to achieve. But as far as, you know, bike setup and riding a 26 inch uh, BMX style bike, um, so he, he's sort of like the base, so like to, show you his bike up close something like this so you guys can kind of see his spec component I mean obviously like some of it is what I've kind of taken from you know as far as general ideas but I, I can't copy his bike specifically because he's I believe he's European and a lot of the companies just aren't available here in, uh, in the states so yes, yeah, so now that you guys kind of know the idea of like the 26 inch BMX, I'm gonna run you through the kind of my uh, component list and you guys can let me know what you guys think and if you have any uh, suggestions or uh, things to stay away from, uh, I would appreciate that, left in the comments. So to begin, um, I'm going with the Master Bike Co. Um, high Tech Frame in Black, tw uh, 2019 version. Matte black, it fits you know the 26 inch wheelbase, 14 mil dropouts. You guys can read. Um, just a simple plain black uh, frame set, and to go along with that, I've got the uh, Master Bike Co. fork. So yeah, very simple. You know, s simple all black uh, kind of style going. Um, for a headset, uh, I'm going with this Sunday. You know, uh, gonna add some like pops of green throughout the look. Um, so sort of adding this as a headset. Now, I'm not super familiar with BMX headsets and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you guys know off the hand, offhand that this one um, isn't gonna fit or isn't gonna be compatible, please let me know now before I make a mistake in buying it. Um, but all the kind of researching I've done, you know, it says it fits you know BMX head tube. So I'm assuming with the BMX style fork and you know bike frame that maybe it's gonna be compatible. But you know, let me know below if it's not. And then, you know, Fiend Garrett Reynolds V3 stem. I just like the way it looks, and I like the um, kind of shorter reach at, you know, 48 mil. I wouldn't want to go with something like th th this s and Redneck, just because it's a little too short, a little too mountain bike style. I want to stay with a BMX sort of look. Um, and it's only 9.9 .9 ounces, so it kind of saves some weight there, being a 26 inch bike, and it's already going to be heavy enough. Um, going with the, uh, Gonna try to find some NS district bars. I kind of like the shape of them, um, and then that's sort of what the inspiration from uh, Tom Tom's bike is. Is he's running he's running the same bars, but I, I just like the way it looks. You know, it adds a little different feel to it than like a regular high rise uh, wide BMX bar. 
So then grips, I mean, grips are whatever. I know grips will fit. I, I've had fly bikes, um, the Rubin grips in the past, and they were some of the greatest grips I've ever rode. Um, I could get them again, but I kind of want to, you know, do the green theme. So I'm going to go with these, test them out. You know, fly, I like the way fly bikes grips are, so hopefully these would be just as good. And I think they also have, um, yeah, like a smaller flange too as well on them. Then we got the wheel set. Um, so it's surprisingly hard to find wheel sets in 26 inch. Um, I know, like, obviously I could build them, but I'm trying to not throw so much money into this bike and kind of want to ride something off the shelf for now. And then if it comes down to it, uh, I'm happy with uh, replacing parts and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, this is a stolen brand 26 inch wheel set, the really front and a uh, right hand drive cassette. Unfortunately, the cassette only comes in a 11 tooth sprocket and I'm going to be running a 20, 28 uh, sprocket on the front. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to have to find a way to change that out to a 9 because I've, I've, you know, from what I've seen, I, people, people like to run a 28.9 on their bikes um, and that seems to be a good gear. Uh, so yeah, front wheel. Tires, I'm not really, you know, 100% sold on these. I just like the kind of the way they look. I probably want to go with the camo, although, you know, not going to hate on it. But yeah, I think let's go with some black uh, cult tires. And I'll, from here on out, a lot of the components are cult. Um, I, I, like the, I like the brand. Um, I kind of like, like the riders. I kind of like their aesthetic, you know, whatever. You may have your own opinions. And if you know anything I should know about the brand, you know, let me know. I'll drop it in the comments. Um, but as far as I know, like, They've got a solid team, they got solid products. Um, so yeah, I'm down with Cult. So we got the got the tires. Yeah, same tires. So pedals, um, I wanted to try out this brand, Clat. I'm not really familiar with them. They're they're newer to me. Um, back from when I was BM BMXing, I, they weren't around or they weren't as popular. So um, going to check out these guys. I like the idea that they have replaceable pins. So you know, if you grind them down or you know they come out or whatever you can replace them in sort of like a interchangeable parts and that, they are a PC or plastic pedal I believe uh, for the sprocket going with the Dakota Roche um, 22 sprocket with the chain guard on with the sprocket guard on it you know just like the way it looks you know call it it's clean black you know not much not much there but I think it looks pretty dope Ch chains like I said like, like the tires like I'm not really sold on it I'm just you know going with the flow um, if you guys have any comments, you know, half link versus whole link, let me know below. I kind of, like the, I love the way the half link work, uh, looks, but as far as strength and as far as like, uh, longevity, let me know in the comments below if you have a preference of, um, half link or full link. I, I was just going to do a black chain as well too, so nothing crazy there. For the cranks, I was going to do the cult, uh, Hawk cranks, uh, just no other reason, I think, you know, it's got the 22 millimeter spin, spindle, I believe. Um, and, you know, it just comes in a good variety of sizes. I was going to do like a 170, 170 millimeter black. And with that, you know, just run the cult bottom bracket. You know, if you have uh, other options, you know, better options for the 22 mil uh, bottom brackets, uh, let me know. You know Seat-wise, Odyssey, I, I kind of like the, like the diamond pattern on here. Um, nothing too special, just a pivotal seat. And then generic S, you know, Odyssey Pivotal C Post. So yeah, that is going to be um, my 26 inch B BMX build. Um, if I do get around to doing that, just kind of want to get you guys opinions on it before I pull any triggers. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think, and and hopefully that can be another some more videos I can do for you guys is building this bike up and uh, get you riding on it. So yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys thought for the build and the overall concept and what you guys thoughts are on 26 inch BMX style bikes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.